Hello and welcome to a new video of Sun Nomad. Here are the 10 things you definitely want to know before you're traveling Zanzibar. So enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it and let's get started. It is quite easy to have a good and relaxed time on the island in the Indian Ocean. Hakuna Matata, this phrase that everyone knows from the Lion King, means as much as no problem, all is well, don't worry and is preached here almost in every sentence like a mantra. There is virtually no small talk in which these two words do not occur at least once. But the phrase is not only used constantly, it is also lived. You rarely see so many laughing children and friendly people walking on the beach as you do here. Of course, many people want to earn some extra money and therefore often offer tourist massages, beach towels, coconuts, art objects or trips to snorkeling or sunset tours, but they actually always do this in a very nice way. If you're not interested, stay friendly and come up with a good excuse why you don't want a tour or massage, then the conversation is usually over with a Hakuna Matata. The beaches on the north coast of the island near Nungwi and Kentwa have earned the predicate dreamlike and also the sea water is clear and shines on all shades of blue. The fine sandy beach stretches for kilometers, but depending on the location, you should pay attention to the tides, which can be dangerous for swimmers, and always be careful not to step on a sea urchin, which now and then lie on the bottom. Sometimes you don't need big attractions, especially when the simple and unpretentious is close to perfection. If fresh fruit, wonderful beaches and a relaxed atmosphere are enough for you to have a good time, you will love Zanzibar. Especially the mangoes are a must eat at their harvest time from November on. Alternatively, also highly recommended as a juice or smoothie. Especially in the more touristic areas you can feel pretty safe. Of course, you can't compare it with the security situation at the North Sea, but you don't need to feel uneasy if you walk a little on the beach even after dark. There are often still a few fishermen hanging around or the locals keep themselves fit with squats and push-ups. Even if the greeting is mostly with the word jumbo, which means hello, you should not be mistaken because with English you can get by very well. Especially the younger, very communicative islanders often speak quite good English and not infrequently far better than the tourists who come from all countries of the world. Traveling and having a relaxing time is wonderful in Zanzibar, but if you plan to work remotely from here, you should know that the power goes out more often. It can happen that you only have electricity 18 hours a day instead of 24, which can be especially difficult for scheduled online meetings. The search for good food, on the other hand, seems less difficult. Because, of course, you will not only find delicious fruit as you would expect on a South Sea island. Tanzanian cuisine is also not to be underestimated. Since Zanzibar is literally bursting with fresh fish and seafood, it is hardly surprising that the island can be described as a seafood paradise. However, it is not immediately obvious that vegetarians and vegans also get their money's worth. Thanks to the Indian influence, you will not only find curries in all variations, but also for example samosas. In addition, most restaurants also offer a vegetarian alternative. For example, you can find burgers with banana flower patties. Gyms are very rare on the island, except in large hotels. Nevertheless, you don't have to give up your sports sessions, because in the morning between 6 and 8 o'clock and in the evening between 5 and 7 o'clock, the entire beach area turns into a huge outdoor gym. Everywhere you see people doing push-ups, quads and sit-ups, some doing gymnastics, others boxing or jogging, and almost the whole island plays soccer, at least the men. Usually the islanders are happy to see anyone who joins in. If you want to turn your stay into a soccer bootcamp, it would be extremely easy here. Take advantage when you pass an ATM, because they are relatively rare, even at the airport. Alternatively, you can exchange your money in currency exchange offices, which are more common, but be sure that you always have some cash. In larger tourist restaurants and bars, as well as in hotels, you can easily pay with credit card or dollar, but for everything else you need a Tanzanian shilling. Whether it's for juice or beer at the beach bar, caps or buying water or snacks in small stores. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our other videos and feel free to ask any questions or share your experiences in the comments below. See you!